As you prepare for the holidays, scammers are working overtime to steal your money. The biggest increase is from what's called imposter fraudsters, those posing as someone they're not. New specialist Debbie Worthen's covering this for us tonight. Debbie, what do we need to be looking out for to avoid being scammed? Well, Dan and Dini, it's giving versus getting information from a caller. Now, we talked to one woman who says that scammers are smart. They're persuasive. She says she's smart as well, but they were able to scam her. She's savvy, but she was ripped off to the tune of nearly $25,000 within a matter of hours. It was Halloween night. It was the perfect storm. Jessica Turner was busy when her phone rang right at dinner time. First of all, it showed up on my phone as Mountain America. She would have never answered an unknown number, but this one is saved in her phone. Caller ID can be spoofed. That's the first way Rob Walhoff at Mountain America says the imposter tricked Jessica, but it wasn't the only way. She says the guy on the other line was friendly and even acting helpful. He proceeds to give me advice about current scams that are going on. Jessica appreciated the tips, and while she knew the call seemed important, she was anxious to get off the phone, and it seemed legit. They kind of lulled me into a sense of comfort, like this is a normal process. He used her husband's nickname and knew most of her information already. It sounded very like a real agent would talk. So by the time he asked for PIN numbers and passwords, he had gained her trust. It's everywhere. And, and the, the thing that's really insidious about it is that it can manifest itself in so many different ways. Rob says that trust is the new tool scammers are using to get away with your hard-earned money. He says there is one foolproof way to handle these situations. They're asking instead of giving. They're asking instead of giving. And that's where you need to hang up. November 1st, Jessica woke up with a pit in her stomach. Everything seemed much clearer now that she wasn't distracted and her hunch was right. She'd been scammed. I think it's embarrassing and it's humiliating and you feel like an idiot, to be honest with you. But I also feel like sharing the story will help other people. Not talking is just letting them get away with it a whole nother level. Well, it's not just financial institutions. In fact, just this week, the Salt Lake County Sheriff's Office and the DMV both put out alerts that imposters are trying to scam people out of money through calls and through text messages. Dini, back to you. So the key, when they're asking, not giving information. All right, right. Debbie, thank you.